Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Lauren, and today's video is going to be a calm thrift shopping with me video for home decor. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna go to Goodwill, um, Habitat for Humanity, Salvation Army, and Antique Mall. However, those are always a little bit more expensive. And I'm basically just gonna show you guys all my favorite finds when we're out shopping. And then at the end, I will do a little haul and show you how I styled everything. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. I will have all of my other Thrift With Me videos linked down below. I love thrifting for home decor. If you're someone who hasn't gotten into thrifting yet, highly recommend we moved into our new house last year and anyone that's moved recently or bought a house or an apartment or whatever you know that it costs so much money to furnish a house and i know it takes time but it can be frustrating when you just like i don't have an endless huge budget and it's frustrating because i just want all these things i have all these visions for these rooms so i found that thrifting one it's like a really fun little hunt to see what i'll find but two, I just get so much more bang for my buck. I found like frames, decor, baskets, furniture for just a couple of bucks. And it's just, it's just your money goes so much further with thrifting. And you can find some really unique finds that make your house like one of a kind. So that is the plan for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on into it. Okay, so starting out at the first Goodwill, you'll have to excuse me. I feel like I'm not the best at these shopping voiceovers, but I'm gonna try to speed through it. And don't forget to stay tuned till the end for the haul and the styling. But, oh, this duck, every time I look at this footage, I wish I would've gotten it. I feel like it would be so pretty on like a stack of coffee table books, and I don't know why I left it behind. As you can see, I had my little helper this day, so I think I was kind of distracted and overwhelmed. But this Goodwill had so many amazing finds. I actually ended up getting like three or four things from here, which if you go thrifting, you know that's pretty rare. So I saw this basket. I'm always a sucker for baskets, but I loved the shape of it. I thought it would be perfect on a coffee table. And then I saw this little glass dish, which I believe is an ashtray, but I thought it would be perfect with a candle styled on it. And they actually had a really broken down um, electric candle. I didn't end up getting this, but I did play around with it in the store just to see how I liked it. Now something to always be on the hunt for at Goodwill is vases. They have the best vases, but go into it with an open mind. So I'm very into clear vases right now, but you might not be, or you might see a vase where you really like the style of it, but not the color. I have gotten so many vases from Goodwill, which I did not like the color of at all. And all I did was paint it with a little bit of paint mixed with baking soda, and it gives it a really pretty, like textured ceramic look. Another thing to always be on the hunt for at Goodwill is baskets. I'm telling you, never buy a basket full price. Every time I go to a Goodwill, Valley Village, Salvation Army, there are like walls of baskets and they're like a dollar or two. So many different styles and colors, so always check there first. Now, <laughs> I wanted to include this in the video. This was at my Goodwill. Uh, not, not quite sure what's going on here. This is definitely a, a choice, a very um, handmade <laughs> project. So we did leave this one behind, but I wanted to show you guys. I was immediately drawn to this little bowl. I loved the shape of it. It kind of gave me a little bit of coastal vibes. I just thought it was so pretty. Now these next two baskets are kind of similar shapes but very different. I loved this first one. I thought it was so pretty. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of something that Amy Fritz would use in her home. But I did leave it behind because I don't have any places for big pieces of decor. Like I don't have a hutch. I don't have a bookshelf or shelves. I feel like I'm still kind of building my home and I don't have like those pieces yet that I could style. So I did leave that behind, but I thought it was so pretty. So now heading into Value Village. I love Value Village because it kind of feels like four or five Goodwills in one. It's just huge. And as you can see, once again, so many great baskets. 
This basket was beautiful and it was $5, which is a little pricey for thrifting, but I thought the whitewash was just so pretty and like the shape of it, but I didn't have a specific place for it in my mind, so I didn't wanna buy it because I'm trying to stay away from having too much clutter. And then of course, I'm always instantly drawn to blue and white and I very rarely see it out. So I was instantly drawn to these. I loved this first plate. I wasn't a huge fan of the ones underneath, but I did end up taking this top one home with me. And then I saw these, I'm not 100% sure what they are. I think colanders. But I will say I did end up leaving them behind because I noticed when I first started thrifting, I kind of bought everything. Like everything seemed like such a steal to me. And so anything that I liked, I would buy. And now I have like kind of, I have a room, a storage room that just has so many random pieces of decor that I don't have places for. And so I'm trying to be a lot more intentional with thrifting. Like if I don't have an exact space in my mind, I am not buying it. Okay, so now we are at the depot at Gibson Mill. It is my favorite antique mall in Charlotte, North Carolina. I love it. The prices are, of course, a little bit higher than at Goodwill, but they have so many great finds. The briefcase I thought was so pretty. It was $50, however, I do kind of feel like it's worth that amount. I just, once again, I don't have anywhere I could put it. But man, the color, the gold, I just thought it was beautiful. I really liked these little brass planters. I thought they were so cute and original how it's a little straw hat. They were $15 each though and they were tiny so I did end up leaving those behind. So here is a basket that me and my mom fell in love with. I've kind of been on a hunt for a basket that could be used as a side table or I could stack two to make a side table. This one was $26, which when I first saw it, I actually was like, eh, it's too pricey. And then my mom was like, no, for that size, like that's a really good deal. So here's my mom. She was showing me like if I put the liner inside, like tucked it in, what it would look like. And we both loved it. So I did end up buying that and it's like my favorite find. And I wanted to leave this one clip in here just because I could not believe the size of this thing. So this is like some kind of console table, entryway table. My husband is 6'4 and he's standing right there. I don't know if you can tell how high up this thing was. I felt like it was like to my shoulders. It was the oddest thing. <laughs> Okay, so it is time for the haul. I started filming this video like a month ago. These Thrift With Me videos do take a long time because I go to different spots over time. So if you go thrifting and you're like discouraged because you didn't find anything, and you're like, oh my gosh, how'd she find such good stuff? That's because I go on like 20 thrifting trips and then I just take like the best clips from each trip. So keep in mind, this is not like just a super good Goodwill or something like that. But it is time for the haul. I actually have some really good finds. Something that I'm like super excited for and I actually found this yesterday. Um, I just didn't feel like I had like a good enough haul to end the video. So I went back out yesterday and I found this which is like my favorite find so far. So I'm really excited to show you guys. But so let's just, let's just get started. So I'm gonna start off with some blue and white plates because if you've been following my channel, you would know that in my kitchen I have like a part of the wall where I've started collecting blue and white plates on my little thrifting adventures and styling up the wall. So I need a few more to make it to the top of the window. So I got this one and I love it. This might be my favorite one. So it was a dollar, I don't know if you can tell. Okay, there you go, $1.61, and this was from Value Village. And then this I actually found yesterday when I found that. So this was a little pricier because I found it at an antique mall, but I just thought it was really pretty because I don't have any other ones like this where it's like a solid white border. And I feel like some of the ones I have, they're all different, but they're so similar where this one kind of stands out as more different. So it was $5. And if you're in Charlotte, I got this from the depot at Gibson Mill. It's like my favorite antique mall. It is huge. It's in Concord, North Carolina. This is what it looks like. So pretty. 
Okay. Okay, so the next thing I got was two vases. I actually might have showed this in another video, but I've been really into clear vases recently. I love that traditional look, especially with like hydrangeas. I just think it's so pretty and classic. So I found this and this was $2.99 at Goodwill and I just thought it was so pretty. I love the ones that have a little bit of a sign. And I've had this on my fireplace for the last couple weeks ever since I filmed that spring decorating video with these fake hydrangeas. They're like that really pretty white green that hydrangeas look like when they first bloom. And I've had it in this space and I really like this. One more vase, I don't have any florals in this one yet, but this one is so pretty as well. It's a little bit smaller. So this one was $3 and it just looks like this. I just thought that was so pretty. It's a little bit smaller for these, as you can see. So I need to get like some smaller tulips or something like that. Got that. time for my favorite item so I found this yesterday it was definitely pricier because it was at an antique mall and also it's huge so it is I'm guessing like a picnic basket can you see that it has an inner liner but me and my mom were kind of messing around with it when I was trying to decide if I wanted it or not so she took put the liner down so I could see what it would look like without the liner but it does come with this it has like this really cool like quilted top it looks like that I will probably have the liner on the inside. So what I'm thinking is, originally I wanted to get two and kind of layer them on top of each other and use them as like a side table next to the couch. So I'm thinking of using it as that and then because it has this nice little quilted area in it, I can store toys in there. Yeah, you know what, that would be great for the living room, like toy storage or blankets or whatever. So that's what I plan on using it for is like next to the couch as sort of like a side table or maybe just a little storage area. I have a mirror that we recently hung up in the living room and I'm thinking I could put it under the mirror. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite item I got. Let's try to see if there's like a name on it, but there's not. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so this next thing is one of my favorite items, which is funny, it's definitely not vintage because on the bottom it says it's from the White Barn Candle Company. So I'm not sure if this used to have a candle in it or what it was used for specifically. I found it at Goodwill and it was $1.99, but I just love this. I showed it in my last couple spring decorating videos. I used it on the entryway table and, oh, I don't even have my keys on me, but we've just been using it to like store our keys or whatever on the entryway table. But I just love this design. I feel like it is so pretty and it just, I just adds a little a little something so the next thing I got was you know what I'm not sure what this is I'm almost wondering if maybe this is an ashtray of course I won't be using it like that but this is so it was 99 cents and I found it at Goodwill and it's kind of dirty right now actually because I've had a candle sitting on it for the last month so usually it's like perfectly clear but I thought it would be really pretty to just have like a little candle on it, maybe on like the coffee table or an entryway table. I don't know, I just thought it gave it a little something and instead of just having this like plopped somewhere, it kind of makes it look a little bit more intentional and add a little bit more design. So yeah, this was 99 cents. Okay, so the next thing I got is full. Cause like I said, I've had some of these things for a month now when I started filming the video, but I got this big basket and it's been working out perfectly on my desk to just store like papers and random things that I need to put away. So it's this super big, it's bigger than a piece of paper size, but kind of more of a shallow basket. I believe it was $1.99. When I bought it, my intention was to use it on the coffee table. I was actually thinking I could put this on the coffee table with like this in there. 
a little candle, maybe some florals, which I still think would be really pretty. However, um, I already have a tray that I'm using on our coffee table. So I ended up putting it here on my desk and it works out perfectly. So I got that. So another basket that I got was this one. And the reason I got it is I thought it would be perfect in our downstairs bathroom as a trash can. So, you know, throw a little Target bag or Walmart bag in there to be the liner and then just have it as the trash can. This and it was, did I say? I know I just saw the price on here. So it was $2.99. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. It helps to kind of boost my video out to a bigger audience. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to subscribe. It's totally free. There's no like subscription fee or anything like that. You just hit that subscribe button down below and then my videos will start showing up in your subscriptions on YouTube so you don't miss any future videos. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and you feel motivated <laughs> to go out and go thrifting. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day.